For years, archaeologists have tried to figure out the reason behind the construction of the pyramids, and you'll be surprised by how many theories have developed. Do these pyramids actually hold alien technology within them? Were they built by a cult group? Were they built to be an energy source? Although it has taken archaeologists hundreds of years, the real reason why pyramids were built by Egyptians has finally been discovered, and it is nothing short of incredible. Today on Crunch, we'll be talking about the mind-blowing reason why Egyptians built the pyramids, and why. The origin of the pyramids – man-made or extraterrestrial? One thing about the pyramids that has been a major head-scratcher for scientists is the precision of their measurements. Buildings are supposed to be built accurately to prevent all kinds of disasters. However, how were ancient Egyptians able to pull off that level of precision for structures as grand as the pyramids with the technology they had? The Great Pyramid of Giza is aligned to the true north, as accurate as a tenth of a degree. How did they do that without a compass? Many architects today say they would have trouble making a structure exactly as the pyramids were built, even with current technology. Staring into the vast night sky makes you feel like the stars are out of reach, which is the truth in most cases. However, the ancient Egyptians were not limited to how far these stars were. They were intrigued by these twinkling objects and reached far enough to see them up close. Did you know the Great Pyramids of Giza were a key part of the Egyptians' plan to explore space? The movie Stargate depicts the pyramids as a portal connecting this world and a foreign planet inhabited by gods and their servants. While this might not have happened in real life like it was portrayed in the movie, there may be some elements of truth in this story. According to historical accounts, the Egyptians always took measurements of the stars to align tombs and temples perfectly. They didn't care about these details when building their own houses, but when it came to anything pertaining to their gods, they were extravagant in every sense of it. They would observe the rising and setting of the stars, and from that, they could tell anything from time to direction. Of all the stars the Egyptians knew, there were two sets that stood out, the Immortals and Thuban, the pole star at the time. The pyramids had air shafts linking the interior to the northern face of the structure, and these were perfectly aligned with the Immortals and Thuban. Looking up from the pyramid's air shaft, you could clearly see the stars, given you had the right tools. Why were these corridor-like structures built? Archaeologists believe they could be associated with the ascension of the king into heaven or the afterlife. For peace to remain in their country, the Egyptians believed that the pharaoh's soul journeys unhindered between the mummy, secured in the pyramid, and the heavens. Before laying the groundwork for the pyramids, the ancient Egyptians were able to tell cardinal points by studying the appearance of another important star in the northern sky, Sirius. Using Sirius, the Egyptians first identified what direction north was. Then they worked out other cardinal points from there. They created perfect intercardinal lines that aligned with the corners of the pyramid, as each side was supposed to face a different cardinal point. Scientists also discovered that the pyramids of Giza have an exact astronomical representation. Each one is perfectly aligned with the stars of the Orion Belt. When all three pyramids are viewed from above and a straight line is drawn through their center points, the two larger pyramids, Khufu and Khafra, align. However, Menkura doesn't line up with the larger two. The same pattern is seen when you consider the stars in Orion's belt. The two larger stars align and the small one falls out to the left side of the line. The Pyramid and the Sacred City The Egyptians believed that the dead pharaohs lived in Duat, the kingdom of Osiris, god of death and the underworld. Duat was believed to be located in a region of the sky between Orion and Sirius. Some Egyptologists believe that Giza itself was a mirror reflection of Duat and the ancient structures within it were representations of different elements of Duat. The pyramids represented Orion, the Sphinx corresponding to the Leo constellation, and the Nile represented the Milky Way. This is also one of the reasons why Egyptians were considered the first astronomers, as they had one intention in mind – space exploration. At first glance, the more widely known explanation for the pyramids is that they're giant tombs for highly esteemed members of the society, like the pharaohs, who were viewed somewhere between human and divine. To simply put it, they were considered gods among men, and what better way would it be to appreciate the passing of a god than to build a giant tomb? Ancient Egyptians believed the gods handpicked their pharaohs to serve as their mediators on Earth, 
and the pyramids were built to reflect their power. In the 19th century, archaeologists were able to take the first look at the pyramids and their contents. What they saw was completely jaw-dropping. They observed that the pyramids were built between the Old and Middle Kingdom Egypt over a space of about 500 years. According to the teachings of their religion, ancient Egyptians believed in the concept of an afterlife and that death was a journey between the physical world and the afterlife. For the pharaohs, who were already perceived as gods, death meant a transition from one form of divinity to another. Pyramids were constructed to preserve the bodies of the pharaohs as they underwent their transition. They were built to withstand time and whatever disasters might arise, like floods and earthquakes. Both the exterior and interior of the pyramids were fortified to preserve the remains of the pharaoh. Some kings constructed pyramids not just for themselves, but for some of their family members as well. Each pyramid was built with an interesting system of tunnels, which led to numerous chambers that each served different purposes. The burial chamber was built with the most detail and the best hidden compartment in the pyramid. After all, it held the most valuable item, that is, the remains of the pharaoh. The walls were decorated with drawings and heliographs, which illustrate many life and afterlife scenarios pertaining to the pharaoh. Depending on the pharaoh, the contents and structure of each pyramid vary, but some components are common. In the center of the burial chamber, there's a fixed sarcophagus, and depending on the pharaoh's preference, it was made from a variety of precious materials, but more traditionally, granite. For many years, scientists thought they figured out about the pyramids and knew for sure why they were built. But as the years passed, more mind-blowing discoveries have pointed the scientists in places they never thought to look, the stars. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more amazing history videos. As always, thank you for watching Crunch.